गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन सो इन स्टैटिस्टिक्स पार्ट लास्ट टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन टू स्टैटिस्टिक्स देन सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी एंड आफ्टर दैट इट वॉज मेजर ऑफ डिसपर्सन सो टूडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द सिंपल लीनियर सिंपल लीनियर को रिलेशन सो हाउ आर मैथड्स एप्लीकेबल वी विल सी दे so first one is unit 15 that is simple linear equation sorry simple linear correlation okay so here till now we have studied only for the single variable we have studied and compared with other other given datas okay so here yeah. now we will given and as per the correlation methods we will study the their relation whether they are positively related or they are not negatively related or they are not related okay in diagrammatic form here you see scatter diagram which is called scatter diagram here various diagrams are given first one that is if suppose it is in the same direction and it is in a linear form then that is a perfect positive correlation in second diagram you can see perfect negative correlation that mean it if it is moving towards left side and in a particular direction if both variables are moving to same direction okay so there is perfect positive correlation if it moves to from left to right and if perfect neg negative correlation is there if it moves to from right to left that is negative if both the variables are going towards the same direction then in next diagram you see that is positive correlation they are not in a perfect point but going to the same direction then negative correlation similarly they are going the two variables are going to the same direction but not exactly in the point then non linear correlation where the graph will be created in a curve way okay so whenever uh, wherever i am not audible just interrupt me okay tell me so then correlate no correlation where it is correlation can be create so the following day diagrams are however explained in this way you see if x and y right if two very variables moves in the same direction either both of them increase these or both of them will decrease so in this case
case, the relationship between them is said to be positive correlation. Then, if suppose on the other hand, one of the variables of aiming data is given of two variables, that is, in a particular company, how advertising expenses are affecting the sales data. Okay, so if suppose cost of the advertisement varies, that means ultimately the cost of sales will also be varied. So here variable X is taken as advertisement and Y is taken as sales. Okay, and the data from 1995 to 2004 it is taken and it is to be represented in scatter diagram. Now here you see if you will start putting the points in a particular graph. Okay, so advertising ex expenditure is taken in x-axis and sales that is in crores or whatever rupees unit is given that is taken in y-axis. So if expenditure is 6 in 1995 year wise, first of all, then sales will be 60. Okay, sales will be 60. In that way, the dots are being pointed there. Okay, now what it studies you see here in this following figure. Sorry. Hmm. Correlation coefficient. It is more clear to study the correlation between two variables. So here, here is the formula. How to find out correlation coefficient of two variables. Now, correlation is represented as small r coefficient of correlation small r in which it is given sigma dx dy whole divided by root of sigma dx square uh, into whole root of sigma dy square. So here dx is after finding out the mean of a particular variables after that dx is found out that is x minus mean mean of first variable. Then dy, similarly, y variable minus mean of y variable. Similarly, after finding out 
dx, then square all the values. Similarly, y, y also find all the squares of the values. And the same formula, this formula can be applicable, applicable, whichever it is convenient to you. More formulas are there. Next formula can be written. Here you see sigma dx dy whole divided by n, that is number of observation into standard deviation of x into standard deviation of y. Okay. And further, the same formula can be written in the following way. That is sigma xy direct formula minus sigma x into sigma y divided by number of observation. Number of observation. Then divided by root of sigma x square minus sigma x square x whole square divided by n. And that is the formula of standard deviation. Okay. He, that's why in second method directly it is given. That is sig, uh, standard deviation. So this is the formula of standard deviation. Okay. So that is standard, sorry, root of sigma y square minus sigma y whole square divided by n. Okay. Now how you will draw the conclusion. Okay. This is all the formulas you can go through it. But how conclusion can be found out after getting the answer. So remember one thing, whatever coefficient value you will get, it should be between plus 1 and minus 1. Okay, whether it may be this, whether it may be in decimal form. So the value plus 1 represent a perfect positive correlation. Okay, while the value minus 1 represents a perfect negative correlation. Okay, so whichever side it goes, whichever side it is closer, accordingly you will draw the conclusion. So if suppose the value is zero, the value is zero means there is no correlation. Okay, it, it is in case of the scatter uh, scatter diagram where all the all the dots are scattered here randomly. Okay, then correlation coefficient is independent of any change in the origin and scale of x and y values okay then next you can see as per the given formula as per the given formula how it is solved carl pearson coefficient of correlation so variable x and y that is same advertisement and sales is given so after that x and y both the variables are multiplied and x is separately squared then y is separately squared this is the direct method where mean mean is not found out here so as per the first formula mean can be found out but here mean is not found out direct formula it is used so here third method is used here so as per that answer is coefficient of correlation that is 0.9835 that means which shows there is a high degree of association between the sales and advertisement expenditure okay then again further examples are given here now here in the first formula where mean is to be found out in that formula mean is to be found out as per that it is solved whichever formula is applicable whichever formula is convenient to you use that check the data okay check the data whether it is in large number or in small number as per that use the formulas okay then as per the spearman's rank correlation Am I audible or am I not audible? So, Spearman's rank correlation. So, that is given as 1 minus 6 sigma d square 
divided by n q minus n. Here n is number of pairs of rank and sigma d square is the squares of difference between the ranks of two variables. Okay. First, what you will do here, ranking is done. Whatever variable it will be given, out of that variable, rank will be given as per the highest variable. Okay. So here you see the, in the given data, in the following example, it is given. Here rank is already given, I think. So ranking is given already. So two, two ranks are there, ranks in training and ranks on sale. Already ranking is given, so no need to find out further. And as per the given formula, that is difference in rank you will find out. That is difference in rank means x minus y. Okay. And after finding out d, that is difference in x minus y square all the numbers. Okay. After squaring, the following formula is used. And after getting the result, here you can see the result is 0.855. So here we can see, say again, it is a high degree of positive correlation. Okay. If it is in positive one, so high degree of positive correlation between them is given. Okay. Now, in next illustration, you will see that is a rank of 10 candidates by two examiners. Here, same way it is solved. Okay. Now, here in this example, you see in illustration 7, here rank is done. Ranking is done. And after that, difference in ranks is found out. Here, percentage of marks in statistics and percentage of marks in accountancy is given. Okay, so here mark percentages are given, ranks are not assigned here. So you have to assign the rank. So how you will assign the rank? Suppose in case ranks of percentage of marks in statistics. Okay, so in statistics, you see in statistics column, the highest number is 80. Okay, highest percentage is 80. That means 80 will be given rank one. Okay, and below that, 75 is there so 75 is given second rank and after that 66 i think 66 is given so 66 is the third rank now then third rank now fourth rank is 60 now for the fifth rank you will see 55 is appearing twice okay 55 is appearing twice that means it is calculated as the the position okay 5 plus 6, that means 55 has two places, that is 5th place and 6th place. So 5 plus 6 divided by 2. 5 plus 6 divided, 5 is 5th position, 6 is 6th position. So 5 plus 6 divided by 2 is equal to 5.5. So 5.5 is rank given to both the 55s. Okay, then similarly, 5th then now come to sixth position. Sixth position already taken. 5.5 is assigned for fifth position also and sixth position also. Now come to seventh place. Seventh place is single one. That is 50. There is no confusion. Seventh place is 50. Then for eight, eighth position you see. Eighth position. Uh, that is eighth is not given. Again here you see. 7th position, then directly ninth position, here it is given. Again, here, eight, 8 plus 9 divided by 2. Again, it is given. Okay. So, assigned with 9 and 9. 45, both are, 45 again, it is assigned, sorry, 3 times. 45 is assigned 3 times here, 3 times it appearing. 45 plus 45 plus 45. That means, 8 9 10th position 8 plus 9 plus 10 divided by 3 okay the average ranking divided by 3 that will be 9 so 9 is assigned for all the 45 so in rank of marks in accountancy okay so in case of accountancy again you see first rank no confusion, that is 85, 85 is the highest number. 
then second is again no no confusion 81 second rank then third one is 80 then here fourth fourth rank and for fifth rank there is an again here it is twice 75 is appearing twice okay so 4 plus 5 again it is divided 4 4 plus 5 divided by 2 so that is 4.5 so 4.5 is assigned to 75 both the 75 okay 4 5 ranked over now for 6th and 7th again 70 is appearing twice for 6th and 7th place so 6 plus 7 divided by 2 so it will be 6.5 6.5 6.5 it is assigned to 70 that is sixth place and seventh place okay then for eighth place 65 is assigned for ninth place 60 is assigned and for 10th place 45 is assigned now this is after ranking the percentage of marks in statistics and accountancy next step is to find out the difference difference is rank of x minus ranks rank of y okay d then after that d square it is squared the difference is squared now as per the given formula again put the values get the answer wherever n here is number of observation and number of ranks are 10 here okay so number of a number of ranks are 10 so as per the given formula if you wouldn't have understand then just ex read out this explanation, okay? So it is the perfect positive correlation. Then, sorry. Hmm. Then next is simple linear regression okay so regression here is that is of two type that is dependent dependent variable independent variable okay so here directly come to the formulas okay so how it is studied you see simple uh, that is relationship between two variables how it is studied so here the following formula is given where y is the value of independent sorry dependent variable and beta o that is y intercept that means changes in the value then beta 1 that is slope of the regression line x is the value of independent variable and e1 that is error term error term that is the difference between actual y value and the value of y predicted by the model okay the prediction value whatever will be given then i i is the repre i represents the observation number that is ranges from 1 to n particular numbers so y3 is the third observation of the dependent variable and x6 is the sixth observation of the independent variable so how it is calculated you see how regressions are calculated so here rainfall and agricultural productions are given data of rainfall and as per that agricultural productions are given so if it is shown through scatter diagram it is in this form okay it is in this form x-axis and y-axis it is separated okay and if you will draw a line on that dots it is a perfect linear correlation okay so the agricultural production will be depending upon the amount of rainfall okay so then here simple linear regression equation can be given in this form this is the formula then alternatively the formula can be given here okay regression of the two variables formulas are given go through the formulas okay simply you have to find out the variables x y and their squares and multiply find it find out the products and their sum total and put the formula okay so here you see 
then using regression for prediction how it is predicted okay so suppose some questions are given illustration if suppose in illustration 2 that is we have obtained the regression model of the company so with these models estimated the value of sales when the company decided to spend 250000 on advertising and the cost of advertisement when the company desires to reach the target rupees 50 lakh during the next quarter in that case to find out the predicted value the estimated of expected sales you have to substitute specified advertising level into the regression model for example we know that company's marketing department has decided to spend rupees 250000 okay that is x equals to 2.5 on advertising during the next quarter the most likely estimated of sales okay estimated value how it is calculated so after calculation here you see an advertising expenditure of 2.5 lakhs is estimated to generate sales of the company to tune 65000 okay similarly in case of advertisement same way it is calculated then method of least square method as per the formula given okay formulas are given so no need of confusion there formulas are there follow the formulas step by step and you will get the answer okay so here conclusions are also also mentioned here so you can go through it and you can find out the conclusions okay now relation sometimes questions come relationship between correlation and regression coefficient so these are the points how it is uh, related to each other okay after finding out the results how it is related to each other then there is certain difference between correlation and regressions are also there these are certain differences okay Difference can be also gone, gone through, go through it. Then come to next is index numbers. Okay. So index number is nothing but some data of the past years are taken as base year to compare, compare it and for future plannings. Okay. Basically it is used in uh, stock exchange markets. Okay, and sometimes calculation of DNS allowance and other things are being used for this. Okay, so meaning and concept you go through it. Characteristics, characteristics, all you can go through it. Use of index numbers. Okay, so some index number means here some years data is taken as base year to compare it. Okay, directly come to the questions or the numerical problems. This is all you can go through it. Classification of index numbers are there. Then value of index number, it can be calculated the formula. Okay. Here formula is given. As per this formula, the calculation can be done. Is done. Okay. That is, it is taken for the, it is taken example of price and quantity. Okay. Price and quantity changed in a particular year is compared to the price and quantity of a base year okay it is compared and after that so there are two methods of constructing index number one is unweighted indices and another is weighted indices okay so under unweighted index numbers there is another two formulas are there that is simple aggregative index and simple average of relatives index so simple aggregate aggregative index in that you see if suppose we are studying a studying for price index okay if price index is studies so price of a particular year divided by price of the base year into 100 okay that is given as sigma p1 divided by sigma po that is the base year that is price into 100 Similarly, if quantity is studied, so total of the particular year, quantity of particular year divided by quantity of the base year into 100. Okay. Now, here one illustration is given. 
so year 1990 and for year 2000 okay sorry so here you see but many items are given and their price in price and quantity for year 1990 is given and price and quantity for year 2000 is given okay so what you will do you will take the base year as 1990 okay so po for price of 1990 and qo is the quantity of 1990 these are the base base data or base value okay so here you see as per the following formula price index how it is calculated in this method you see so as per the price index price of 19 that is 2000 total price of 2000 divided by total price of 1990 okay after calculation it will be 156.54 that means Minus hundred one fifty six point five four minus hundred, whatever value is that, that is the increase value. Okay, that means you will if if you will draw the conclusion, that means index shows that shows that fifty six point five percent has increased as compared to nineteen ninety, the price of the uh, various items. Okay, similarly in case of quantity also you see. after finding out quantity so same formula quantity of 2000 total quantity of 2000 year divided by total quantity of to the uh, year 1990 into 100 okay so after calculation after putting the value and getting the answer it will be 124.61 that means here again it has increased of 24.61% quantity has also increased increased from uh, increased to 24% okay 24.61% then according to next formula that is simple average relative index here formula is given in this way that is sum of the price relatives divided by number of items or it can be given as summation or sigma price of a particular year divided by price of base year in 200 as per this formula okay so here you can also evaluate it as per this one okay increase and decrease how you will know just deduct whatever answer you will get deduct 100 from that okay whether it is whether it is greater than 100 or whether it is less than 100 if suppose it is less than 100 there is a decrease and if it is greater than 100 it is increased and if after deducting you will get what is the value of increase and decrease then here again next method is weighted index numbers okay so here also two methods are given under this category that is weighted aggregative index under that classifiers index is given as per that formulas are given okay by heart these formulas so for differentiating you have to symbolize in this way l a okay this will indicate as per the lespers index and pash index it is given as p a okay formulas are easy you can go through and according to that you will evaluate remember which formula comes under which category or which heading okay that's all then fishers idol index according to that this is the formula okay all questions are solved here some illustrations are solved here according to the various method then weighted average relative index there is one formula here you see you can see here formulas are given every formulas there is a base year quantity or price okay so you have to compare according to that only then test for index numbers here again time reversal test is there factor reversal test is there okay so as per that formulas again are given just go through the formulas here only fishers formula is given okay then factor re reversal test formulas are given as per the following formula calculate it 
then consumer price index number cpi and the formula is this one okay cpi formula so these calculations are there okay then next part that is time series analysis okay so time series analysis here okay so time series analysis that is consist of statistical data which are collected recorded over successive increments okay over a success uh, successive uh, time it is calculated and data are being analyzed okay so definitions you go through it then some of the components are also there components you will just go through then decomposition of time series so additive model is given so according to additive model here you see you have to remember certain long and short term causes that is trend cyclical seasonal irregular okay so in this way models are being categorized okay so as per that model the following formula is given here that is additive model so y is the in this following formula you see y equals to t plus s plus c plus i okay so t is trend and s is seasonal c is cyclical and i is irregular okay all the factors are there given in symbolic form and y is the total of the four components okay then according to multiplicative method it is calculated in this way that is y total of the all models that is uh, t trend plus seasonal plus cyclical plus irregular okay so hypothetical time series and its component how it is given you see here it is given in here data is given how it is studied so total number of trend seasonal okay and series o is given there so as per the formula it is calculated here okay then preliminary adjustments are there calendar variations price changes population changes are there then method of measurement of trend that is moving average method is there so that is period of moving averages are found out so how it is sorry so this is the computation of moving averages how it is calculated it is given in a alphabetical form so four year values are given a b c d e f and three yearly moving averages can be computed in the following year okay so yearly values three yearly moving totals then three yearly moving averages okay so three years are given so that means it will be divided by 3 okay as per the sample the following year the following data is calculated here again okay now next illustration that is moving average method according to that here it is calculated that is four year moving to, uh, moving totals are taken and averages are taken okay so here you can see as per this one so if you is a if suppose three yearly moving averages are given so in this case in a case no averages can be found out okay from second b category a plus b plus c is taken okay and then in c category c plus c category b that means previous year plus current year and next year okay so three years if moving averages are found out that means previous year current year and next year average okay it is found out in here also four yearly basis that means two years are left and previous two years and next two years including the current year okay it is found out in this way averages are there calculate and just check it 
then least square method this is the formula okay least square method as per the given formula so here you can see that y plus yc that is the changes in the value okay value of y so all the formulas you just remember and calculate the questions okay and don't forget to find out the conclusion what conclusions are assigned as per the result okay some other illustrations are given okay so that's all about this business statistics as the business statistics over so go through the website and check the types of question pattern okay check the types of question pattern and accordingly try to answer it yesterday i was discussing about the question pattern of uh, that is uh, business law how it is categorized marks how it is categorized and how you will uh, just write the answer as per the marks assigned okay similarly here also business mathematics and statistics also same way you will answer it okay as per the given assigned marks you will answer that one okay anybody has to ask me something okay okay let's end the class today too early okay thank you